Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. This is another Reef Automation tutorial for Neptune Systems. Today I'm just going to go over a demonstration of the DOS and the DDR combo and how to read from the DDR specifically. In recent live streams I went over a device that is sold on eBay which I will put in the comments below which allow you to use any container to basically make it look like you have a DDR even if you don't purchase one. Uh, I don't currently own a DDR, however when I plug in this certain plug, which I will show you, you can basically make it look like a DDR. So let's go through basically how it looks on the Neptune and show you basic a basic demonstration of the DDR. So when you first plug in your dose, you're going to get something that looks similar to this and what it basically shows is the amount that you've dosed within about a 24 hour period you're not going to see the bottom area unless you have a DDR or like I said the device that you can get on eBay which I will link in the comments now once you plug in a DDR it's going to show this tile right here now if you click on the name on the upper left hand corner you can get to the DDR configuration which is basically the dose configuration okay now I'm gonna go through step by step what each one of these are so it is well understood so you have your first pump or your first DDR container and your second DDR container this is the volume remaining this is the total volume of the container now there is not a sensor that senses how much milliliters you have left, so you have to do all of this manually. Now, the total volume is how much volume your container holds. So the DDR from the factory comes with a 2,000 milliliter amount of volume that it can hold. Now, again, you can put whatever you want here. So if you had a 5 liter container that you were using, you could put 5,000 as your total volume. Now the volume remaining again is what amount is actually inside the DDR. So every time you fill your DDR to the total volume, all you have to do is hit the fill and it will just match the two numbers. Now again, if you're going to use, let's say half, you could put 2,500, you could put whatever you want in here and it's going to calculate how many milliliters are taken from it based on your DDR or based on your dose. So it's going to know if you're using a dose and a DDR, how many milliliters are being taken from it and it will provide you a visual demonstration of the DDR which I will show you here. Now the DDR of course has an optical sensor at the bottom which is a programmable sensor. So for instance my programmable sensor basically tells me when it's low that I want to get an alert. So what I do is I have a virtual outlet that I created because I don't want to get an alert for each one and I also don't want to get alert all day when it happens I just want to get an alert maybe a couple times a day or maybe once a day when I need to refill them because they're all balanced so typically when one is low the rest will be low so let me see if I can find that the easiest way to find that here is in the outlets and the virtual outlet which I believe I called reef elements so let me see if I could find it uh, reef elements low here it is so again I only have it alerting me during certain times of day and if my reef elk L which is my sensor of the DDR is open then I want it to alert only during these periods of time so this is how I programmed it to alert me during those times and these are my three containers or my three DDRs so if I go back here I have reef element low as my virtual outlet and again take a look at my video on how to program virtual outlets and if I go to my email, I'll have a reef element low on to alert me when my reef elements are low. And that's how I'm able to know when I need to refill it. One thing that you can't currently do, which maybe they'll do in the future, is allow you to alert you when it has a certain amount of milliliters left, or possibly if it's a certain amount of milliliters, you can program something else to basically you know do something refill it for you you know based on the milliliters that it shows again these uh, numbers are going to go down based on how much you're actually dosing so that's basically a demonstration of the DDR and a little bit of programming on it um, again take a look at 
making your own containers because I think that's a, a great idea if you don't want to get those smaller containers and you want much larger containers to get a value off of or get a sensor in the bottom of it. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please um, like and subscribe to the video and make sure you hit the bell icon so you're notified when I upload new videos. Furthermore, we do live streams every week where I give away some cool stuff. So hope to see everybody at the live streams and thank you very much for watching.